It finally happened. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this my whole podcast career. We'll get to that in a second. Welcome to How to Build a Tent, the podcast on how to make you successful in your business, your startup, your entrepreneurship ventures, your finances, and all around life. My name is Matt Williams. Thank you for listening to the show, sharing the show with the friends, liking the memes, liking the articles that I share on Facebook, Twitter, Minds, Instagram. If you're like, what are you talking about? Well, it's because you're not following me on those social media sites. Click the links below or go look me up on all of them on how to build a tent. I'd love to get your subscription, follow, like, whatever it is, and I'd love to hear from you. I love answering questions. I will answer them if you tweet me, if you comment on a post, if you direct message me, or if you want to email me. You're not the social media type. I can't blame you nowadays with all these breaches happening and our identity being taken. See, the last one was Capital One. That is a big one, but it wasn't even like, uh, it was just, it was crazy. It wasn't even Capital One. It was an Amazon employee. I thought that was fascinating. You can email me is what I'm trying to get at, at Matt at howtobuildatent.com. Thank you for everyone who listens to this show. I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving me. That really helps make this show better. And I thank you for that. Also, if you don't know, we are part of the Fight, Laugh, Feast Network. You can go over to fightlaughfeast.com, put in HTBT in the memo field. You can not only go over there, not only can you go over there, but you get to go over there. And what you do when you get there is you subscribe and you put in HTBT in the memo field and you will get, you will get an HTBT mug, 15 ounce mug, a huge mug. It's a ginormous. It will hold as much coffee, tea, whatever you want to put in there as you want. You'll get that for free when you subscribe. And you'll get tons of other benefits, but most importantly, you'll be coming alongside of us. We proclaim the Lordship of Jesus in every area of life. And the more subscribers we get, the louder we proclaim that. The louder as in better content, better resources, more shows, and more exclusive content to help equip you as you fight, laugh, and feast. All right, let's get into the show. So it happened, finally. I've been waiting for a meme, making fun of, attacking, any of those kinds of things on the show, and it finally happened. I shared it on my social media sites. I love it. It made me so happy. And that is really how we should be treating negative comments towards ourselves. If we truly are not fearing men, but fearing the Lord, these negative comments that come our way, it was actually a pretty funny one. I actually laughed. I really laughed. And I wasn't just laughing because I was excited about it, but I was laughing because I thought it was a funny, it was a good, it was a nice meme. It was funny. And then uh, I thought it really was uh, just could ring truth to the people that do not like the show. Anyway, so it was a well done meme and I'm glad it was well done. I didn't want some crappy half, you know, half effort, not funny meme. I wanted a good one and I definitely was not disappointed. I shared it. I love it. It's so great. And I think that's a great topic for us to talk about today. And I want to talk about it. I wanted to talk about pride today and why it is so detrimental. And I think this is a good example leap. It's almost like God worked it out for a great intro into the show. And this is what's going to happen when you become more successful, when you become more faithful, when you press on to what God has for you, hopefully these are the reasons why you're getting attacked, you're getting made fun of. It's going to bring haters out. It's going to bring people out that don't like what you're doing. And that's okay. As Christians, as humble people trying to serve God, as people that fear God and not man, that shouldn't bother us. We shouldn't be afraid of it. We should accept it, use the criticism if possible, and become better for it, push on and fight harder and push forward more passionately and do what you're doing and use it as motivation to continue to accomplish what you feel God is for your life. And you're like, well, wait, wait, what does the fear of man or fear of God have to do with pride? Well, I think in a lot of ways they're intertwined They're They go together and I'm not sure which is which like is pride. What leads to fear of man or is fear of man lead to pride? But I do know this. 
you cannot fear God and be a prideful person. When you fear God and you see God for who he is, that causes you to be humble. And when you're humble, you are fearing God because you need that to be a humble person or pride is naturally going to overflow into your life. And when you are prideful, what I've noticed in times in my life, that when I've been prideful, when I have been walking in pride, which honestly it happens, it's, it's a temptation. I think that all of humanity deals with in some level, in some shape, some form, it looks different for different people, but pride always leads to fearing man. Because when you're prideful, you're not comparing yourself to God anymore or at all, or in the first place. When you're not comparing yourself to God, that's when pride seeps in. Pride comes in when you start comparing yourself to others and comparing and seeing how well you're doing against other people. And you're using other people as the foundation to establish who you are as a person. And that has to lead to fearing man. Because if man is your foundation, either to be a stepping stool to make you look better or for validation to puff yourself up from their compliments, then you need them. You need them to validate you. And when you fear God over man, you no longer have to worry about what man says. You're worried about what you are doing for the kingdom, what you are doing. Are you being obedient to what God has called you to? And if you are, and if you fear God, and if you're walking humbly, humbly, then these uh, criticisms, jokes, attacks, whatever they are. I mean, this was just a meme. It was a social media meme for me. It doesn't bother me. In fact, I want to use it and learn from it, and I want to get better. I want to make the show better. I want this show to be more pertinent to people's lives, because obviously there are people out there that this show isn't going to benefit. And that's okay, because I'm not doing this solely for the world to like me, to, or not, I'm not doing it at all for that reason, but I'm not doing it so that every single person will listen to the show, like the show. But I'm doing it because I feel God has called me to help serve people and bless people. And I want to do that. And I feel God has called me to do this show and to help you guys be more successful in your business and your finance, like I've talked about in the beginning of the show. That's what this show's about. It's not about the accolades. And sometimes you have to go through humbling things. You make mistakes in front of thousands of people. And it, you have to be humble about it. And this is one of the dangers. There's a lot of dangers to pride. There's a lot of dangers to being fearful of man. But this is the one that I've been thinking about lately. Is you burn resources on things that don't matter. You're burning resources on things that are taking away from the goal, from the vision that God wants to give you for your life. What do you mean? This is what I mean. When you are prideful and fearful of men and not God, when you are worried about what people think of your image, when you're worried about constructing your own image, you're spending valuable resources God has given you to prop up this false idol. You're taking time, you're taking resources, you're taking everything that God has given you and you're trying to use it to make yourself look better, to validate yourself from the position you've put yourself in. You're trying to get other people to validate you, to approve of you, to not say bad things about you. You're going to spend time defending yourself. You're going to defend, you're going to spend resources. You're going to promote yourself in ways that don't matter, that aren't helping you achieve your goals. When all of those limited resources that God has given you, well, God has unlimited resources, but in an economic sense, we have limited resources. We only have a certain amount of time. We only have a certain amount of money. We only have a certain amount of energy. All of those things should be aligned to achieving your goals. And when you're prideful, when you're fearing man more than you're fearing God, you're going to be wasting some or all of those resources on the wrong thing, on things that aren't going to help you achieve your goals. So make sure that you fear God and not man. Make sure that you are walking humbly before your God. Make sure that 
You are aligning your resources, your time, your money, your energy on the things God wants you to spend them on. Being that good steward like we've talked about. And you will be successful. Now let's go out and be successful together.